Crypto, welcome along guys, great to see you again. I hope you're keeping well. What about a few florals? Sounds good to me. Okay, Peter, what can you do for us? Let's gonna do, we're gonna do simple cornflowers. Now we're gonna change the colors a little bit on these, but they're gonna be good, fun, and easy. So don't you be worrying. Let's do uh, three of them. I'm gonna put one just here. Let's make a little mark. One just here, and one a little bit higher. We may even put a little buzzy bee just there. Sound good? Right, all I want you to do, a little line going across on the uh, left hand one there, another one there, another one there, a bit of a tilt on that one, yeah? That's just facing in a bit, let's face that one in a bit, okay? Three little lines, center point. Then a little bubble in the center, that's your uh, corny bit of the cornflower if that's how it works yeah then all we need to do guys very simple pencil works always dead simple or the theory of it's dead simple what we do we look at the center line draw a little line down then from this side of the center line we do little lines going over and when you get level with the cornflower just jump them in the air a bit okay don't bring them down too low we're doing the same on the uh, right hand side as we did on the left make them bounce and just take them left and right of centre a little bit of a centre line there that's going to be our little uh, uh, stem so same again there's the cornflower little line anything to the left of that we just bend over like that yeah boom this side same again then a little stem what about one more? Yeah, why not? We're in the mood for three. Line down the centre. Bend, 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 bend. And actually when they get nearer the top, you can pull them closer together. Now these are going to be the lines of where the petals are, but we're not overdoing it. We're not really going to draw them in. We'll let the, well, we'll put a stem in just there, and then we'll let the paint do the rest. Now Buzzy Bee, spoiled for choice. Blob, line, line, line head and a few buzzy wings how's that sound I'll put a few legs on as well i think he's going for that one okay so that is the drawing guys sound good perfect okay let's have a little break and get together in a moment or two So welcome back guys after your little break you deserved it you're doing fabulously fabulously well so let's get a bit of paint on let's use big Brian there he is big round-ended brush he's got a little bit in his hair there but we'll sort him out so we check the brush for a start dip it in some water check it on some white tissue if there's nothing there you know you're good to go right all I'm gonna do for a start is just put a little bit of water on the flowers now I'm going to put it all on I've got quite a bit in here so just using the direction of the object which is the petals coming left and right to the center put some on each one don't take it out too far because once you've got the paint on you can drag it a bit further and see where you're going but you can't do that very well with uh, just water on okay so we've got the water on now we're going to go for our first color which is mauve yeah which is a light but ready purple yeah ready purple so I'm going to start here with an easy line comfortable line for the way I paint I am right-handed so uh, I'll do that and then I'll just drag these out here yeah? same again down and what I do I try and get them a little bit thinner towards the top because they're on an angle you know you know what angles are like you can't see as much if they're a bit flatter same again 
and again. And if you start running out of paint, well, don't put too much on, because you're not trying to thicken it up, but you just want it to last, yeah? It's like when I've got a bag of peanuts in the pub. I hide them and eat them slowly. Right, same again here. Yeah, cool. So thinner at the top, big bulkier at the bottom because these are coming straight at you. Straight at you. Right, got that on guys. Now I'm going to put a little bit of purple on. Same brush, coffee strength purple. And just at the end of some of these petals, for that is what they are, I'm just putting a little bit of purple and just reshaping a little bit. I'm not doing all of them. Just doing some of them. More towards the left hand side than the right. Okay. And then, you know, old Big Brian is a big old brush, but he's quite a nifty little mover. Better to use a big brush for this than a little brush. You'll be there all day. Blimey. Which is nice, but I ain't got the concentration for that. Now this time I'm putting the purple a bit more towards the right. It's as if the light's in the middle, it draws you to the middle. Yeah? So that's just rolling about. Just let it roll. Let it roll. Right. What I'm going to do now, that's settling, that's drying actually. What I'm going to do is a little bit of water on my buzzy bee. There. And I'm going to drop in some lemon yellow to a coffee strength. There it is, Buzzy Bee. Lemon yellow coffee strength. Bottom of the butter, bo bottom edge of the Buzzy Bee, a little bit of cat orange. There it is. Boom. That'll bleed as well. Everything's bleeding. It's bleeding all over. Can't believe it. But that's good news. That's what I want. Right, okay. Now I'm changing brushes to my small dagger brush and I'm going to put a little blob of water in the centre of the cornflower while I've got my nice coffee strength cad orange I'm just going to wallop that to one side wallop okay get pick some more up wallop and actually on the next one now wait for it wait for it I'm going to wallop it on, but I'm going to do it the opposite side. And notice I drag it into the colour and I dab, dibbly dabble, dibbly dabble, just a bit, a few little specks at the top. Okay. Now, next colour, sap green. Green as you like. Green as the trees. Coffee strength. Just drag that down the other side. Same on this one. I'll let it bleed into the flower, but not on this one, you see. This one, I'm doing the opposite. Opposite side. So light sitting here, here, and here, and top of Buzzy Bee. So a detective would decide where was the line of fire there. Where was the line of light? Just there. Next colour. Indian red, cream strength, it's a bit thicker. And just at the bottom edge, I'm dolloping a bit in there. So if, you, if you're good at dolloping, this is, your, this is your chance to shine at dolloping. But remember, it's a bit wet still, so it'll still bleed from where you left it. Yeah? It's like leaving a tomato on a slanted table. It will roll after you've gone. And I'm just going to put a little bit on my buzzy bee at the bottom. Don't want to leave him out. Okie dokes. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Right. Got all of that on. Miss Rigger has arrived in the building. Bless her. And she is going to do a little bit of painting with us. All we want to do is pick up a little bit of um, purple. Now it's a bit drier paint. 
And what we're going to do down the center of some of these is flick a little bit of a line. And I mean flick. You can do it slowly, but your flick speed will improve over time. Notice how I angle these out from the center. Boom. Boom. Yeah. And again. Boom. Now some of them will dry quicker than others. You can't really tell until you uh, get the paint on. But some will remain quite solid. Notice I even drag a few just above where the colour is. That just extends it, allows the eye of the beholder, because that's where beauty is found, you know, to decide where the uh, flower finishes. Put a couple there, look. yeah? You're doing very, 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 very well indeed. Right, while we've got this on, just going to get a bit of cad orange on Miss Rigger. That's okay with you, Miss Rigger. And dab a few little extra bits of fluffiness above the flower, just into the white stuff, which is called clean paper. Got that on. And a little bit of maybe sap green. And I'm just throwing this. I'm not really just going left or right. I'm just putting it in. Gives that nice little effervescence. Did I put any purple on there or did it disappear? I think it may have disappeared. I may even have to watch the tutorial back myself to see where it went. Yep. Right. Sap green. Miss Rigger still. Coffee strength. Just here. Put a little stem on. Just here, little stem on. Guess what I'm doing just here. Tell you what we'll do. Put a bit of green there, put a bit of green there. Then come with me folks, come with me to the palette to pick up some cat orange. Then between the two, I'm just gonna make that cat orange. That is crazy, isn't it? It's as if light's hitting that little uh, area. Right. While we're at it, sap green on Miss Rigger, coffee strength, I'll just push a few leaves off, and I mean push. I'll put it onto the stem, just push the brush out, wave it all about. And that side, and it's just a very vague, light notion of flowers, uh, petal, uh, leaves, sorry. So I'm just there as well, maybe a little bit. A little bit, you know, dibbling in and dabbling. Got those on, guys. Little bit of mauve, and guess where I'm going to put this? Suggestions on a postcard. In to the leaves. That's it, they'll do for leaves, they'll be fine. Right, what about Buzzy Bee? Mini Dave again. So I'm going to get, let's have a look, Royal Blue. Sorry, not royal blue, um, ultramarine blue, coffee strength. Maybe I think it's relatively dry. All I'm going to do is that. Swerve a little curve. Can you swerve a curve? Just around the shape of the bee. Then at the front, there's a little driving pod or head. And a little bit of neutral tint. Still coffee strength. And we'll put this in a little bar just here. So it's a line almost going down the back. Into the face. Buzzy bee, buzzy bee, where are you? Now they've got two ways of doing this. Now I've got, um, no, just one way. Royal blue. Little wings. I'm going to put a dab at the top of the wing. Four wings. Notice I'll leave a gap. I'll take all of the colour off the brush. Well, most of the colour off the brush. Now it is. Just water and dab a little bit of water underneath. A 
Yeah. Jolly good. Now, the little thing I want to do is just scoop a little bit of paint off to give it a little light effect. So all you do is drag the dry brush through the uh, colour that's there. It lifts off paint, lightens it. Final thing just on the wing, a little bit of weak ultramarine blue, that's T strength, just at the end of the wings, and that gives you that little uh, to light dark on the on very thin wings, gossamer wings they call them, gossamer wings. What about a few legs on the old fella? Needs to land, you don't just want to fly forever. So back legs, start about here, take them across and a little flick down. Just here, straight. And at the front, it's as if you're grabbing some of those nuts I've told you about earlier in the pub. Yeah. Little buzzy bee, buzzy bee. Right, very final thing, guys. A little bit of dark green, which is perilene green. A few dots on the centre. Now, where it joins the petals, I'm just putting a few little dots around there. They're very wet, but quite strong paint. So we're looking really at coffee strength there. But where this, where a dab them, that sort of uh, suggests where the line of the centre meets the other stuff. Okay, Kokis, you're doing well, guys. You're doing well indeed. Right, final couple of things. A little bit of splatter. So that's Miss Rigger with a bit of mauve. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. She's great at splatter. May have said that before, but she is. What about a bit of royal blue just on the back of the buzzy bee? Okay, dokes. So, very final, 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 final thing, a little bit of white, titanium white, just a few little dots on the top where the light's hitting of the cornflower. Badam! So there you go guys, there's our fab little video. Three cornflowers and a bee, let's call it that. Okay, which one will you land on? So give it a go guys, enjoy the process and I'll catch you all again very very soon.